So today we're going to track and follow through just the general kind of food that I'm consuming and making and everything like that at the moment. It's a little bit different than how I am in in the peak of comp season and that will definitely be coming. I'll show you all exactly what I do for that. Says, there's a lot more weighing and measuring, a lot more thought out. I do actually have a nutrition background. It is really, really important to me and something that I've always put a lot of weight on as an athlete and just as a person in general. I studied nutrition years ago. Funny story, I was studying it and then I fell into CrossFit when I was really, really young and I was only one semester or the prac work away from graduating and I decided to keep doing my CrossFit stuff. At that time, I decided I didn't want to be a nutritionist. I did absolutely love it, but I decided I didn't want to be a nutritionist because I used to get really frustrated by the fact that people would come to you asking for help and then they wouldn't listen to um, pretty much your advice and you would give them all the answers and how to, you know, how to live better days and how to fix their problems. They didn't ever want to do it and I just didn't want to waste my time. So I figured that I'd use the information that I'd learnt from my own family and for people around me and I, I had that knowledge always. Now that I'm almost 30, I'm actually studying again. I've picked up the same Bachelor of Health Science but I'm extending that into naturopathy. So I will use the nutrition but also using herbs and things like that. Very much a natural kind of person. Um, but yeah, that's, that's I guess kind of my background. I'm a little bit more patient now. So at some stage when I'm older and I'm not competing anymore and I still got my gym, but I'm looking for something else, I'm going to be essentially practicing and focusing a little bit more on that nutrition and naturopathy side. So this is my day, um, our day. I'll show you a couple of recipes, just sort of go-to stuff, and then a few companies that I lean on to actually help me out in this time and moving forward to make sure I'm eating the right things all the time. Friday, that would have yeah. looked way better. Yeah. yeah. And then a little bit of barbecue sauce. Can I please just get like avocado bacon? Don't judge me. No, you're not getting on tracky. The sun in her eyes a bit. She just weed through her other clothes. <laughs> hey! Alright, so we're at Brecky. We decided to come to Brecky. Today we're going to do a little bit of filming of what we eat in a day. And this is actually pretty common. We do have smashed avo and bacon on toast and it looks a little bit different everywhere we go. And we love it and it's our thing. We do it as a family but the only thing is that it doesn't really ever hit numbers and I'm not necessarily weighing or measuring any food at the moment but I do always stay mindful of I guess my macronutrients to make sure that I'm recovering so I always pack dun, 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 my no way bar this is just to get a little bit more yeah you know, get extra protein and essentially it has I'm gonna read you the numbers because people always ask me 5.7 fat 25.7 protein and 3.2 carbs which is amazing because it's so hard to get a bar that's actually just protein but what i really want to show you is the texture of it but check this out okay you can see that if anyone's ever had like chico babies or like those kind of lollies those kind of like gummies i guess that's kind of the texture so this is like the um coconut yeah coconut brownie um, and there's like a couple other flavors, but anyway, I want to show you and it's just like a totally different texture because this is a collagen bar Which is why it actually has so much more protein and it is so hard You get like a, a whey bar or a soy bar or anything like that And they just end up having heaps of crap and the macros are all out and it's not a protein bar anymore You're lucky if you get 10 grams and you just get a whole heap of artificial stuff This is not that but it's definitely really different. So that's it That's all we're heading off to Wild Kitchen where I pick up my meal prep meals by Nourish Meals. Get some lunch for the next couple of days. Lunch and extras.
Okay, so I, in conjunction with cooking, I absolutely love cooking because I've always been all over nutrition. I love nutrition and I love making my food and I grew up in a house with just my mom and I and we were always making food. But when I'm super busy and you know when I've been an athlete, I have actually sort of reached out and gotten people to help me out with meals. It's mainly been when I'm competing. So when I travel, you know, I've had some uh, meal prep companies in Dubai and in the US look after me. And then I was actually ordering these meals every single day, just about on Uber Eats when I was pregnant. And uh, Maddie said, look, let's just get some now after Bob. You'll be getting back into training and you're gonna need something throughout the season. You wanna make sure that you're eating really good food. And this company, so I go and pick these up from a place in Wild, um, in Tenerife, which is like 10 minutes away. It's called Wild Kitchen. And they do, everything's got like a paleo base. Um, there's wild rice and stuff like that added in there, which is awesome because I definitely need to prioritize those carbs. Um, but they're awesome. Everything is really, really clean. The oil they cook with, all of their ingredients are, you know, prime ingredients. They're not your standard meal prep company that's kind of just chucking food together to make it convenient. It is actually still quality, which is really important to me. So, um, I'm going to show you... This week I've got Moroccan collie salad. Not a vegan, but... I don't eat eggs and I don't eat dairy, so, and I do prioritize vegetables and fruits and like whole foods. I like to eat big volumes of like vegetables and stuff. You can often have a huge plate full of it, especially in game season. So I often order vegan meals for that reason. They don't have the things that I don't eat and they, you know, they obviously prioritize the stuff I like and then I can add either some extra meat or I can substitute with my collagen bars, my ATP Science No Way bars, which have 27 grams of protein, which is epic, or I can make a shake or a smoothie um, and I can substitute that way. And then I'm not missing out on anything. A chicken meal, which is chicken and wild rice, paleo beef lasagna, salmon and greens, sticky pulled pork, which is amazing, chicken and stir fry. And then they always have avocado, but so that I can keep it fresh and I can heat them up, I just get, they give me an avocado separate and then I just cut that up as I go. This sounds really good. So this is like a sticky pork pork and then you've got greens underneath and sweet potato sweet potato fry kind of things just like roast sweet potato and really good ingredients so like I said sometimes I get like a vegan meal that's like really vegetable based so I've got um, today like what is it called Moroccan cauliflower salad but I had some leftover beef from dinner last night Maddie felt like burgers and we had this beef mince that I had actually gotten out and I just added in some spices some salt, some pepper, just really basic stuff. And I made beef patties, but I've got a bowl of it left that I didn't cook. And so I'm just gonna mix that in the pan and just cook some beef mince and I'm gonna put it with the cauliflower salad. So this is it. I'm gonna try and get some exercise in. I don't know what yet. I'll start getting some more structured stuff written for me next week. So at the moment, I'm just happy to get some movement, but my little munchkin, she likes to hang out all the time and it's tricky to exercise. <laughs> the big child. The big child that wears my shoes. Um, but the little one wants to hang out and she doesn't really want to sleep. So I'm going to be grateful for whatever I get today. Hey. See the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, sweet go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip. How's that? Average. The only things that I've been doing is doing things that have like lots of rounds or like time breaks or like an opportunity where I can stop. So if I do like 
10 rounds with a minute rest in between each one, I can check on where she's at or I can have checkpoints in the workout and I can stop at any point instead of going like, you know, having this massive intervals of 50 minutes and then getting halfway through and not really getting anything out of it. Something that I can still be intense when I'm intense and then stop if I need to stop. It's the best I can do right now. Mm. My lip hurts because she just scratched the fuck out of me. <laughs> love her, I love her, I love her. I'll just do this for the rest of my life. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so I am here making dinner now. I'm making something that's really, really easy with just good ingredients. We do not do anything fancy at all. I'm just doing a roast dinner, which is actually pretty common. I've classically leaned on roast vegetables a lot because it's just super easy. I can chop it up. I can put a little bit of coconut oil on it or whatever. It's easy to kind of count out when I've been in competition and counting macros. And I can leave it in the oven unattended, unattended uh, which is perfect so I'm going to show you my little roast dinner it's really really basic I'm using the meat from our cow which is a company that I kind of linked up with they're down south from where I live a couple of hours down south and essentially their concept is to deliver paddock to plate uh, a paddock to plate service so it's amazing quality beef and they're delivering it to us in the city when we don't normally get good quality stuff all of our good stuff is essentially sent out of Australia so I wanted to get behind them and we've got a little thing going and they deliver it up up close to us which is absolutely amazing so I use their beef we get a 10 kilo box every month and I pretty much just rotate through like I said our lunchtime meals are usually nourish meals and then our dinner meals are often beef sometimes we'll get like some chicken and stuff from elsewhere but um, at the moment we are eating a lot of beef which I find is really helping me with my energies and that's it that's just an easy roast beef and vegetable dinner it is super easy because you can leave it unattended for ages and you've got leftovers for tomorrow. Okay guys, I'm going to show you my little everything smoothie. I try and include something like this pretty, pretty much every day. I am whey intolerant, so I have a protein called No Whey, which is a collagen protein. It's a super high quality from ATP Science. I'm not just saying that. I actually went to them. It was a, huge, it was a product that was a huge favorite of mine. Listen to their podcast, I'll explain all about it. But in a way of obviously consuming protein, it's awesome. But then you've also got the extra like muscle contraction potential, the recovery. I had it just competing. I've had it throughout my pregnancy. I have had I am having it uh, breastfeeding as well. So it's you know helping in so many ways because collagen is obviously gonna help with the with the muscle fibers, the connective tissue, the collagen, all that kind of stuff. So it's better than just having a whey protein that's say just protein. Um, it's really amazing for the gut, so like I said, I include this in everything. This is my No Way Mocha Protein Smoothie. It's super easy. You can change the ingredients based on whatever you have in the pantry or whatever like that. I use a vanilla protein. You can use a chocolate one, but I really like the vanilla one, and then I add the cacao um, in as well. But here it goes. <laughs>
Guys, so that's my random little smoothie. I use my ATP Science. I use the vanilla protein. I'll do my teeth. I use a vanilla protein, I add cacao, so I get the added benefits of having that magnesium from that cacao rather than having the chocolate, no way. Buy anything too crazy. Find out what flavors you like the most um, and add any extra superfoods or anything like that in there. But it's super straightforward. You've got some really good fats in there and then you've got your protein in there. So it's something that you have away from training later in the afternoon or, you know, like before bed or something like that.